here. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going up the country with this easy guitar tutorial for beginners. We're going to learn the easy chords and strum, the basic structure of the song, and how to pick out the melody. Stick around to the end so you don't miss the bonus tip I give on how to play simple melodies and chords at the same time. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave a comment, maybe share it with one of your friends. Alright, let's play some music. Here are the easy chords. G major. Any of these are acceptable ways to play G major, even that rock way. Uh, and then you have C major, nice easy C major chord, regular standard way like that. You can add your pinky down here on the first string, kind of give it that brighter sound. Uh, I like to play C like this, with the third and fourth finger on the top two strings, third fret. Give it a fuller sound like that. And then you have D major, the third chord's D major. Nice and easy, you can use a basic D like that. Okay, you can hit your thumb right here. Give it like a first inversion D major chord. Um, you get it D7, or D7 with the F sharp there. Uh, any version of a D or a D7 chord. D7 right here, you can use them all sometimes, it's nice to change it up. If you only know one, that's okay. Just do the one you know. Uh, at any point, you can rewind and pause and look at my fingers. Oh, that's how he's playing that G chord. That's how he's playing the D7. The D7 here is a cool one you can try out if you like uh, this sort of thing. It's basically like a C major chord with your pinky on the third string, third fret. So that's C7. And then if you move that up, one, two frets, that's a D7 chord. So you have a lot of different options, but G, C, and D. The D can be a D7 if you like. Here is the basic structure of the song. You have four measures of G. Then you have two measures of C, two measures of G, two measures of D or D7 or a combination of those, but two measures, two measures of G major. There's one small variation in the bridge, but we'll get to that later. Here's the melody. strum pattern. Usually you get that with the chords. So here's the strum pattern. Uh, I like to keep this just basic simple rock strum pattern. So when I strum on acoustic guitar and rock music, I think of like a drum beat. So you're basically like trying to create some sort of drum beat here. You know, it's kind of percussion in a way, but you just hold the chord and do that. So when you have the G chord, you know, you think I'm thinking of this song like that kind of. So when you get that vibe, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you could, you could do a lot of different strums. I like to just keep it simple with a down up. Down, 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 kind of like that. All right, let's practice this structure. Four measures of G, two measures of C, two of G, two of D, two of G. Uh, at 100 beats per minute. Here we go. One, two, three, four, G. Going to C, two, three, four, C, two measures. Three, four, one, two. Back to G. One, two, three, four, one, two. To D or D7. work nice work let's try this at 112 one two three four Let's do it one more time, closer to 120. Let's go to 120 beats per minute. All right, so it's a little faster, so you want to think of that rhythm. And two, and three, and four, kind of like that, all right? Down, up, down, up, down, up. You're just dividing that beat. Here we go. One, two, three, four, G. D 
two measures. You can play that slower if you want. You could swing it, you could speed it up. You can do a lot of stuff with it. That's the basic strum, the structure, and then the melody. Now the melody is tricky. If you're not used to picking out single notes like that, you know, just take your time and go through the tab and I'll play it real slow. Here's the melody at 80 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. Here's the melody at 100 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. Let's try this at 120 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. Here's the bonus tip time, how to play the melody and the chords together. Well, if you look at this song uh, and the chords and the way it's tabbed out, uh, when you have the chord changes, you don't have a lot of melody notes. So it's a good way to, this may be a good song to try to do that. So for the first chord, you just strum G. And as that's ringing, you lift up your middle finger or your index finger, or you can let go of the chord if you have to, but if you can hang on, that's good. And then you play the second measure. And then you strum G again. Play the fourth measure. Then you go to C. Two, three, four. Back to G. Two, three, four. One, two, three. And I do D7 like this and grab the third fret right there, but you can play D, D, D. You need that melody note and a D chord, right? And then you play the riff. So let's practice this a little bit. Let's go back to 80 beats per minute. 80 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. And the riff. Strum. Two, three, four. Riff. Switch to C. Two, three, four. Riff. Go to uh, let's go to 100 beats per minute. 100 beats per minute. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Two, three. go up to 120 beats per minute. At any point you need to stop, pause, rewind, slow down, uh, play a part again. Here's 120 beats per minute. One, two, three, four.
nice work. All right, now we know all the parts of the song. So at any point, like I said, go back, rewind, pause, practice again and again and again until you feel like you got it down. And then uh, go ahead and click over to my play along video and uh, see if you can hang in there. And that's going to have the chords and the lyrics and, uh, and we can just play the song. So thanks again for joining me. A like, subscribe, share this with anyone you think uh, might like it. Leave a comment or ask me a question and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks again.